Hello, good people. Welcome to another exciting moment with us at Belgrade TV. You are sure going to have an enthralling moment. Put on your notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Biography of Obafemi Awolowo. This political icon was born on the 6th of March 1909 in the protectorate of southern Nigeria. He was a nationalist, one of the Nigerian elites that fought for the country's independence and he channeled his strength towards the struggle for true federalism. Awolowo was born in the present-day Ogun state, then southern protectorate of Nigeria, to Yurafama and Soya, who died when Awolowo was just at the age of seven. He attended Baptist Boys High School, Abiokuta, and became a teacher in Abiokuta. Shortly after, he qualified as a shorthand typist. After a while, he served as a clerk at Wesley College, Ibadan, and at the same time, a correspondent for the Nigerian Times. After his education in 1927 at Wesley College, he gained admission at the University of London and graduated with a Bachelor Degree of Commerce. In the 1930s, he became active in politics by becoming a member of the Lagos Youth Movement, which later became the Nigerian Youth Movement. He rose to become Secretary for the Western Province. In 1944, he went to the UK to study law at the University of London and was called to bar by the Honorable Society of the Inner Temple on 19th of November 1946. While in London, he founded the Egbe Modudua Society of the Descendants of Odudua. The main goal was to foster unity among the Yoruba folks and to secure a future for his people. It was his nationalist spirit that made him produce one of the powerful works that helped the Nigerian cause in fight for independence, titled Path to Nigerian Freedom, 1947. In this work, he claimed that there was a need for Nigerians to have a federal type of government in an independent Nigeria so as to protect the interests of the ethnic groups in the country at the same time, foster unity among them. He encouraged the struggle for self-government. In the same year, he returned to Nigeria to practice law. In 1950-1951, he founded Action Group, a political party that had most of its members from Egbe Modudua. He became the first party president. The party, having been created, swung into action by calling for the end of colonialism and championing the cause of self-governance. In 1951, the party won the first elections held in the Western region and Awolowo served as leader of government business and minister for local government structure. He later established elective councils. In 1954 until 1959, he became premier of the Western region and his focus was on education, agriculture and social services. His most remarkable achievements being free basic education and primary health care he introduced in the region. The first television station in Africa was established by him. In trying to fight for a united Nigeria, he made his party enter into alliance with parties from other regions and advocated for the British to grant the country independence as early as the late 50s, but it did not work. In 1959, after two major political parties had formed an alliance, he became an opposition leader in the Federal House of Representatives. When Nigeria became an independent entity on 1st of October 1960, Awolowo changed his stance and gone for socialism, advocating for a neutral foreign policy. Clash of ideologies hit the party. Awolowo fought to maintain leadership status. He partially succeeded in the party's annual conference in 1962, but was later sentenced to 10 years imprisonment for treason. His prison terms came to a premature end after a military coup took place on July 1966. In the same year of his release, he was a member of the National Cancellation Committee, which tried to create an understanding between federal government and eastern region. It did not work as the civil war broke out between the federal government and the Republic of Biafra between 1967 to 1970. Awolowo, being the federal commissioner for finance and vice chairman of the Federal Executive Council, threw his weight behind the federal government. It was said that he was the brain behind federal government emerging victorious in the civil war as he advised Gowon to stop sending food or any aids whatsoever to the Republic of Biafra and it worked. He was made Chancellor of the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University and Hamadou Bello University in the mid-70s. The 12-year ban on politics was lifted in 1978 and he emerged as the leader of UPN, Unity Party of Nigeria. He became their presidential candidate. He ran for presidency in 1979 and 1983 presidential elections, but was defeated by Sheikh Shagari. There was a military coup in the later stage of 1983 and parties were banned 
Antif Awolowo retired from politics. Awolowo, who died on May 9, 1987, at 78, is an important figure in the history of Nigeria with his exemplary leadership qualities. He wrote these books, Awo, the Autobiography of Chief Obafemi Awolowo, 1960, Thoughts on Nigerian Constitution, 1966. What do you think about this Nigerian icon? Let us know in the comment section. Please like this video and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.